Mercedes has just dropped the CLE, so this will come out as both as a coupe and a convertible and replaces both the E-Class coupe and the C-Class coupe. But when I look at this design, it looks a lot more like a successor to the C-Class design. So what we're going to do in this video is have a look at the spec and tech of this thing. And then we're going to have a look at this gorgeous exterior design. Well done, Mercedes. Yes, they still know how to make beautiful designs. And this is just proof of that. So let's have a look at this article from Car and Driver to start with and see what this brand new Benz is all about. So it takes over for the two-door versions of the C-Class and the E-Class, the CLE 3 uses a 255 horsepower turbo inline four while the CLE 450 upgrades to a 375 horsepower inline six so we have a six cylinder here but we still have four cylinders in the new C63 it's pretty interesting to see that both of these engines have some electron el electrical backup when it comes to the power the interior is nearly identical to the one in the current C-Class with a 12.3 inch digital instrument display and an 11.9 inch central touchscreen. If you want to read this full article, I'm going to, as always, link it down in the description. And the CLE is supposed to go on sale here in the US early 2024 with a convertible version uh, coming later on. And just look at how beautiful this thing is. I can't wait to jump into Photoshop and talk about this design. I'm going to compare it to the previous c-class uh, coupe design and just what changed in this new one the roof line the greenhouse by the way looks almost identical but we're going to talk more about that later let's look at the spec and tech here first of all so you have a 48 volt electrical system with the electric motor providing a boost of 23 horsepower 148 pound feet of torque that's a lot of torque and the power is also sent to all wheel drives through a nine speed automatic transmission the front seats designed specifically for the cla come heated and with four-way lumbar support as standard. It also comes with seat ventilation, which is cooled seats and seven zone massage function as option. The latest MBUX infotainment system lets customer download third party apps into their Mercedes. TikTok, Angry Birds, WebEx and Zoom are available at launch. Mercedes is also, in addition to all these apps, they're also implementing artificial intelligence to learn which comfort systems the driver uses at certain times and under certain conditions and will then run these systems automatically. This includes everything from navigation to a specific address to climate control settings to birthday reminders. And this is this is a problem that I have with uh, modern cars. Can we just go back to cars being cars and not cram in all this technology into their cars. I don't want TikTok in my Mercedes-Benz because I don't want to fry my brain as I'm driving this beautiful thing. The thing I want to do is just sit inside of the car and go for a drive without having all these apps and stuff that we already spend, I don't know, half the day on our phones checking. I don't want to morph consumer electronics with automotive design. Those two should be completely separate, at least in my opinion. So there is no word yet on pricing. The 2023 C300 started at $50,000, while the 2023 E45 Coupe started at $70,800. So they're guessing that the price base for this is going to be around sixty grand, which is... I guess totally fine for what this is. It is a beautiful Mercedes. So let's have a look at just that. Let's have a look at this design and see what's going on here. Compare it to, as I said, the previous generation of, um, uh, actually the last generation of the Mercedes C-Class Coupe because it doesn't exist anymore. So up top, we have the old C-Class Coupe. Down low, we have the new CLE. I do like the name because we have the C and we have the E in the name itself. So it kind of makes sense that it replaces both. The big changes here, what I love about this old generation of the C-Class Coupe. First of all, I do love that the AMG version still had a V8 in this car. And it just had this graceful look to the front end. And what I mean by that is have a look at the lines going in the top part and then compare it to the lower section of the front end. So at the top, we have the lines here for the grill, for example, pointing outwards like this. It has this graceful, beautiful smile in the grill. And then you have a connection to this line in the headlights as well with this pointing outwards. And everything just looks at the top part like it has this curvature to it that has a graceful appearance in the front end then in the lower part to add some aggression to this front end we have the opposite lines at the lower section pointing downward so you have a more of a stanced look in the lower
lower graphics of the design and then you have a pretty clear separation between the top half graphics and the lower half graphics with a pretty distinct bumper in the previous design and I also like that we have this fold in the hood of the design creating a nice sharp angle in an otherwise very smooth surface now looking at the new uh, Mercedes CLE down here you can see that they inverted the grill it's now a frowning grill which is typical for Mercedes of 2024 they do this in pretty much every single Mercedes these days to instead of having them pointing outwards they now point down I'm not saying that it looks uglier or worse than the previous generation but I do think that it looks less graceful than the 2023 C-Class Coupe. However, I do like that we still have the connection in this line to the line of the headlight, and I do like the headlight design in this uh, CLE. It has a sleek look to it with a big LED bar at the top, and then you have two small LED bulbs underneath it creating a pretty distinct identity for Mercedes but when we go further down you can see we don't we don't have the same separation here this thickness of the bumper is now non-existent in the new CLE and I wish we had more of a separation between these two parts you can see that also the lower sections here of the front end now also point downward so everything is pointing down and it feels like the face of the 2023 c-class is starting to melt here because everything is just being dragged to the bottom of the front end if i were to pick between these two I, honestly i still think that the previous that the 2023 c-class just looks it looks more mercedes to me i don't think mercedes is supposed to be very aggressive in the front end it, it needs to look confident and graceful and i think they absolutely nailed it with the 2023 model here but the new one still looks good it's just that i personally prefer the styling of the previous one however this hood design that we have in the in the 2023 i love that they added these SLK bulges into the hood this was first introduced in when does the SLK come out 96 or 97 something like that the first Mercedes that had this and now they pretty much have it in every single uh, Mercedes and I think it adds some, some muscle to the hood design looking very clean so looking at the side view here and this is where it gets interesting because I don't see a lot of differences specifically talking about the proportions yes in the line flow there is a lot of uh, differences here but as I said the proportions are almost identical to the 2023 C-Class Coupe and this is what I say uh, that I think the new CLE is more of a successor to the C-Class than the E-Class just looking at the proportions of this beautiful thing so the previous one I love that we have this sharp shoulder line kind of going downwards into the rear end and connecting to the corners of the front and rear uh, main lights and I think that's a beautiful touch it creates a very nice structure that goes across the entire length of the car and then you have this lower line at the bottom again going from wide up here and then it becomes narrower and narrower the further back we go creating some sort of dynamic forward motion in in this design but look at this look at the greenhouse of the 2023 c-class and compare this to the new one i really can't see any changes whatsoever to the new greenhouse of the new cle compared to the 2023 model even the line that goes down here housing the the windows look exactly the same in the new cle which is not a bad thing at all because as i said i think this is an absolutely gorgeous side view and it also looks like they updated the graphics for example the c-class coupe old uh, taillights now has even sleeker design to it but it still sits in the exact same position that we had in the 2023 so it looks like a proper successor to the c-class coupe however look at the shoulder line here very strong in the 2023 model and in the new one it, they dialed it down a little bit so we don't have the exact same uh, strong forward dynamics that we have in the previous one because you can see the shoulder line here being very strong above the rear axle going in here and then nothing happens here this is like a calm blue ocean right in the middle of the door but then it comes back strong as ever in the front fender right here looking fantastic and I do like that we have the strong lines over the axles this being an all-wheel drive car you want to have it be visualized in the surface of the car that it is an all-wheel drive car and I think they're doing it well by having these two lines over the axles both front and rear and in the bottom you can see that we still have the lower line intact but it, I'm not sure if it has the same kind of connection 
that we have in the previous one with this little chamfer up here or this line in the bumper I don't think it's existent right here so it's all smooth in the rear but in the middle of the car we still have this line intact and what this line does is that it plants the car visually on the ground I think it looks great both of these look really good but this is what we're going in in, in this type of philosophy now these days with car design we're just moving into more minimalism when it comes to lines inside of the body and more focus on the key graphics in the front specifically the face the grille the headlights the lower section and the rear end the taillights one thing though that mercedes is still doing very very well i think they're one of the top uh, manufacturers that put out the best wheel designs in the automotive field and that goes for the new cle as well i do love the the design of these wheels i also like the ones in the previous one just clean simple elegant looking wheels yes they are black in the new one but they're multi-spoke simple design in these wheels and i think this suits the, this overall graphic that we have in the car so well because it's elegant and simplistic just like the rest of the body of the new cle let me know what you think about these two cars which one would you prefer just based on the design don't think about the uh, performance even though you do have a v8 in the old one as well so that is a plus for the 2023 model so let's have a look at the rear end here and again it just feels like they looked at this uh, 2023 uh, c-class coupe and thought how can we modernize this shape i do think mercedes themselves really liked the design of the c-class coupe and they didn't want to go to waste and they want to keep it alive a little longer and i think that's why they focused more on that instead of the e-class coupe which in my opinion do doesn't look nearly as good as the c-class coupe so here you can see again this shoulder line stretching into the uh, corner of the taillight we also have a nice shoulder in the new one stretching in the same position and we have this duck tail that we have in the previous one one of my favorite design features of the c-class coupe of 2023 is this integration of this very subtle duck tail going up on the top and going in on the rear end we have a version of that in the new one and i also by the way i love this blue color it looks fantastic can't wait when to see when they drop the cle amg if they have a v6 in the cle what was it 450 already i'm pretty sure i hope that they're gonna have a v6 at least in the new cle amg whenever that comes out but then we have the bumper line at the bottom looking pretty similar to the previous generation it is a little more organic in this curvature of this outlet and then you have the same simple design of the lower bumper and the diffuser however this graphics in the new cle goes upwards have this upward curvature while in the previous one it was just a straight line again i think i prefer the straight line i'm not sure why they angled the exhaust pipes upwards like this in the top part i'd rather have it just be flat and more simple because overall this is a simpler design than the previous one so i could make it more complex in just this feature at the very bottom with the exhaust and the diffuser that doesn't really make sense to me but the taillights look really cool in this new uh, cle i love the simplicity and the dynamic feeling because it goes from a little thicker in the outside of this led into a thinner piece the closer to the center that we get and i'm glad that they didn't extend this and make it into a you know proper uh light bar in the rear and just ended it right here to have some separation between the body of the car in the rear and the key graphic elements would is which is in this case the tail light again it's the same change that we've seen in the front and the side it's just simplifying what's already pretty simple in the previous uh, 2023 coupe and make it even simpler with some updated graphics to the taillights and some key features now last but not least let's have a look at this interior and i really like what uh, mercedes did with this interior even though yes we don't have a housing for the gauge cluster up here this is just a screen that sits behind the steering wheel but it looks like it's pretty well integrated in this case it doesn't just stick out too far and it feels like the how the the elements around it has some connection to the screen in this case in the previous one you can see that we still have a nice housing for the gauge cluster but this was never really well integrated in the 2023 model either the infotainment screen this looks like it's just floating up here 
But other than that, I don't mind that we had the analog gauge clusters for the tachometer and the speedometer in the old one because we still have a pretty high resolution screen right here in the middle. And the steering wheel looks rather basic for this design. It was a lot more uh, sporty in the AMG versions. So looking at the new one, Mercedes is just doing wheels in general. They're just <laughs> designing the wheels of their cars, both on the exterior and the interior the steering wheel they're making them so nice and good looking i love the steering wheels of mercedes these days however look at this we have a slight angle even though this is maybe you could call this a little better integrated than the 2023 model we still have it be like we have in the sl just a slight angle towards the driver and i would just want to have this be symmetrical and not have this angle or you angle it more just make up your mind what you want this to be do you want to have an angle to it or do you want to have it be flat this is sort of in between so it's undecisive by the designers what the intention is right now it just looks like it's off center by mistake but as i said i think it's a little more um, integrated in a better way than we have in the 2023 model looking at the steering wheel here it just looks amazing with the spokes it looks almost a little industrial to me, and I like that design. The fat steering wheel also fat where you want it to be, and you have a flat bottom steering wheel in this case as well. This just looks like a nice place to be in, and I also like the graphics that we can see. This looks like it's probably in uh, sport because we have a G-Force meter here and we have some red graphics red generally means that the car is a little angry meaning that this is most likely in a sport mode nice graphics in here clear high resolution we also have some nice vents looking very classy up here i do like it because it feels like it's a modernization or evolution of the events that we have in the 2023 model and it also looks if you look at this infotainment screen i hope that that's the case i'm not entirely sure that we do have part of the lower section of the screen being dedicated to the climate control setting being static always visible at the lower section and that's what you need uh, if you don't have which it doesn't look like we have here physical buttons for the uh, climate control it needs to be static then in the software itself overall i think this this is a fantastic job by Mercedes and I can't wait to see this new CLE out on the road, specifically the AMG model whenever that comes out.